Hi folks, this is Spotlight Jake here today at the beautiful Van City Theater in Vancouver. Today I have the privilege of speaking with Mr. Alan Franey, who has been the head of the director of the Vancouver International Film Festival, VIF for all you film lovers out there, for 25 out of 32 years. Now Alan, I understand that you travel the world checking out and picking films for the festival. How many films would you estimate you would see each year? In a year, I probably see four to five hundred films, which is more than one a day. Get the occasional day off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, I review movies myself, uh, well, not even close to the number that you see, but I got to ask, have you ever, you know, picked a film for the festival and then it turned out that not many folks liked it and you thought to yourself, what the heck was I thinking? Well, it's an interesting question. Sometimes you choose a film that you think only a small percentage of people will like, kind of like serving oysters. Yeah. Everyone likes hamburgers, but occasionally you go for a film that is a very specialized taste. And if you don't find an audience that's receptive, you think, well, maybe I shouldn't have programmed that. It's just too challenging. <laughs> yeah. Well, different tastes makes the world go round. That's right. The yeah. important thing is to describe the film as honestly as you can so that the audience knows uh, whether they'll like it before they buy a ticket. Yeah. And uh, now I understand that uh, this year's festival has around 500 screenings at uh, 341 films from five, 75 different countries. How do you go about picking the winners? Well, we have the audience voting for films, uh -huh. so everyone can participate in that, and it's very meaningful for the filmmakers to win an audience award. And we also have some juries operating, and they're giving out cash prizes and various things. So it's a mix of film professionals and the general audience that helps determine the winners. Have you uh, ever had any Oscar winners here by chance? We have, but generally we'll be showing the films that win the Oscars before they win the award. Oh, yeah. Because we're okay. showing brand new films. So chances are some of the films in the festival will be winning Academy Awards next year. For example, the film that's going to be representing Canada at the Academy Awards, yeah. Gabrielle. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, we actually have tickets to go see Gabrielle. It was just nominated for an Academy Award. Wow. We've had the director, Louise Archambault, at the festival, and this is a film about a young woman affected with a neurological disorder, but it's a real audience pleaser. People will love this movie, Gabrielle. Now, as a person with a disability, I'm always interested in how disabled people are portrayed in film. Um, over the years, uh, have you seen a uh, difference in the way uh, people with disability and disability-related issues are reflected in films? Yes, of course. There's varying degrees of sensitivity and insight. Uh -huh. A good example is films portraying deaf people. Yeah. I have a deaf son. And I've been quite shocked by a number of films dealing with deafness because they use the deaf person as kind of a metaphor instead of as a human being. Yeah. And this year we've got an incredible film from Venezuela, of all places, about a, a young deaf woman and the challenges she faced. It's, it's great, and it really portrays deafness very, very accurately. Well, thank you so much. It's just been a super pleasure talking with you today. And, um, yeah, all the best with the festival.